Today, we'll be assembling the Voya XT Quad Stroller Wagon. Align the rear brake assembly with the rear of the frame. Push both ends of the brake assembly into place over the ends of the frame. Insert an M6 by 30 bolt into the bottom hole of the brake assembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten the bolts in place. Repeat for the other side. Flip the wagon so the front is facing up. Slide the axle through the bottom holes of the brake assembly. Be sure to align the notch with the housing. Match the left and the right rear wheel with their respective sides of the frame. Slide each wheel onto the axle before capturing each side with a washer and lock nut. Use the provided plastic wrench to tighten the lock nuts, securing the rear wheels into the frame. Align the three tabs on the red wheel cover with the three slots in the wheel. Press the wheel cover into place. Repeat for both wheels. Match the front casters to their respective sides of the wagon. Firmly press the casters into place. To remove the front wheels, use a flathead to push the silver tab locking the wheel in place. Align the two holes on the front handle assembly with the holes in the center of the frame. Insert an M6 by 38 shoulder bolt into each of the holes. Use a screwdriver to tighten the bolts. Set the wagon upright. Pull on the folding latch at the center of the frame and unfold the wagon. Install the storage bag by aligning the two hooks on the crossbar at the rear of the frame under the push bar. To unfold the storage basket, pull the straps free from the bottom corners. Push the panel with the tab down to create the floor of the basket. To remove the storage bag, pull up on both handles. To fold the storage bag, pull the tab to lift the bottom panel. Push the basket in towards the wagon and secure the bottom corners with the straps. To install the seats, align the two hooks on the back of the seat assembly with the crossbar at the top of the frame. Then, buckle the seat into the wagon body. To unfold the seat, undo both buckles at the front of the seat. Roll the seat cover up and store away in the zipper pouch behind the seat. Fasten the seats to the wagon walls by sliding the metal plates on either side of the seat over the posts on the walls. Repeat for the other side. Note, the seats are interchangeable and will fit on either side. To fold the seats, unzip the pouch at the rear of the seat back. Pull out the cover and drape it over the seats. Unfasten the plates from the wagon and fold the seat bench up. Buckle the cover to the underside of the seats. Assemble the two cup holders to any of the mounting locations on the four corners of the wagon. Slide the cup holder over the tab of the frame to assemble. 
To unfold the push bar, press both gray buttons on the inside of the bar simultaneously. Rotate the bar into the desired position. To assemble the parent caddy, wrap the Velcro strap under the push bar just above where the leather hand grip ends. Feed the strap through the D-ring and secure the end back over the length of the strap. Assemble the canopies by aligning the slots with the mounting tabs on either side of the seat. Push them into place. To remove the canopies, pull upwards where the canopy attaches to the wagon. Pull the mesh panel behind the seat back before opening the canopies. The peekaboo window is magnetically held in place. Pull back to look inside. Snap the snack tray in place at the center of the wagon by pushing down. To remove the tray, push the gray buttons on either side and lift the tray free. To extend or collapse the pull handle, push the gray button and pull or push the handle to the desired height. To engage the brake, step down on the brake bar. To disengage the brake, lift up on the bar. One mesh panel on each side of the wagon unzips so kids can climb in and out of the wagon. To fold the wagon, push both gray buttons under the snack tray while pulling up at the same time. 